Hello everybody, a very very warm welcome to today's amazing rapid fire Tuesday. All right, quickly let me know if I'm audible and visible guys. Perfect. Thank you, everybody. Uh, so the topic for today is uh, hydrogen and S block elements. You know the rules of Rapid Fire Tuesday. I think we are meeting after a long time for this most awaited Rapid Fire Tuesday for inorganic chemistry, where we are using these kind of sessions as a tool to enhance and fall in love with learning, basically, right? So I hope each one of you is in best of your spirit. I'm very sorry for the short delay. Some technical stuff, but now we're all good. So a very, very warm welcome to all of you who have got associated with us. And uh, let me also introduce you guys to our three most amazing participants. Let's have them on the screen. Okay, so we have Krishangi, we have Megha and we have Asmita. Uh, I would like all three of you to introduce yourself. We'll start with Krishnangi. I would like to know where you're from. And what are your hobbies and which standard are you in? Okay, three questions for to all of you. So unmute yourself and speak. Hey everyone, my name is Krishnangi and I'm from class 11th. I live in New Delhi and my hobbies are singing and dancing. Oh, lovely. So uh, are you a fan of Lata Mangeshkar? Yeah, of course. And I'm very disheartened with her dismay. Demise. Yeah, so. so I think we can take this as an opportunity to pay our tributes to her. So, uh, great, good to know that. Uh, keep singing, stay in the best of your spirits. We'll move on to Megha. Megha, where are you from and what are your hobbies? Which standard are you in? Good evening, everyone. This is Megha. I am uh, from NK Bagradia Public School, Dwarka, New Delhi. And my hobbies are reading books. All right, and you uh, in which standard? I am in 11th. 11th, okay. So hydrogen and S block is going to be easy for you. Okay, how about Asmita? Hello everyone, I am Asmita Acharya and I am from New Delhi. I study in Oxford Senior Secondary School and I easily get addicted to things. So I don't like everything is my hobby. Wow, uh, what better, huh? And I'm in 11th grade. All right, amazing. So we have three very amazing participants here. It's going to be a great fight, I believe. Uh, the fight that I'm talking about is worth fighting for because uh, here we always gain something. There's nothing to lose. There's some experience to gain and there is a lot of pressure to dissipate. So this kind of uh, session does provide you some breathing space and energy to get into an examination mode with the feeling of enjoyment. With that, let me start with the rules of the game. Let's have them on the screen. So guys, uh, I'm hopeful all three of you are well acquainted with the uh, rules out here. I will quickly speak it for you. The one who will give the quickest right answer will get a plus four. The second one will get a plus three and the third one would get a plus two, right? So make sure it's a right answer. If it's a wrong answer, you get a minus one. And uh, be as quick as possible because uh, it's all about speed with accuracy. You will get maximum two minutes, but I do not like the second point here. It is a rapid fire and today's session is actually rapid fire. Okay, so uh, it has to be like this. You should bombard me with the right answer. All right, and uh, we will keep showing you your scores. So take it easy, take a deep breath. With that, give me a thumbs up if you're all ready so that we begin. Okay, Mega is ready. Krishnangi is ready. So is Ashmita. With that, let's get started. I hope everybody in the chat is also ready. Do 
monitor your own self be your own police today and do let me know out of 15 questions how many did you give ready okay so with that let's start with the first one okay the synonym for water gas when used in the production of methanol is fuel gas laughing gas sin gas natural gas factual question Ashmita was quick. So was Megha and so is Krishnangi. Very nice. All three of you rock and roll. Sin gas or also called synthetic gas is indeed the right answer. Can you tell me what is water gas? Any of you? It is the mixture of uh, CO and H2. Okay, so water gas. Where is water? Water is used in the production of water gas. Is used in the production of water gas. You are uh, somehow hazing it up. So let me show it on the screen straight away. Let's have the answer. So of course CO plus H2. Uh, this is what is going to give you water. So production of water like Ashmita said. Uh, not in the process of production, but a product. So yeah, some choice of words matters. But here the answer for all three of you is brilliant, bang on. Indeed, all three of you were right. That's a good start. Let's have the scoreboard just to know who gave the quickest answer. So this is what that matters, right? Speed with accuracy. You've given the right answer, but if the speed is slow, you end up losing marks. Hence, it's the rapid fire in the true sense. In fact, everybody in the chat also was absolutely right. Uday Raj was, say, was saying C, Rayan Singh, Arnab, Mukta, Arundhati, Muskan, Mohammed, Farhan, Nalini, Jaswani. Everybody was saying C. Mohammed Farhan also mentioned one is to one. Uh, doesn't matter about the ratio, honestly. It was gone as a time. It was an archaic word, water gas, no more used. Sin gas is the one which is used and doesn't matter proportion here. The synonymous is the thing that we can use them interchangeably. With that said, be ready for the next question, guys. Question number two, right here. When washing soda is heated at 373 Kelvin, the compound formed is Na2CO3.XH2O. You have to tell me the value of 6X. So you should know X and you multiply it by 6. Tell me what comes up. Is it 6? Is it 5? Is it 16? Or is it a 0? What is our audience saying? Our participants, Ashmita has said A, so has Megha and so has Krishnangi. Let's see what are our friends in the chat saying out here. D, Faisal is saying, Faisal Ansari is saying D, otherwise Vanam is saying A, Mukta is saying A, Sneha is also saying A, Nalini Jaswani is saying A, uh, Deepak Kumar is also saying A, just like you guys. So, uh, what is washing soda by the way? Na2CO3.10H2O Okay, so after heating, how many water of crystallizations has gone away? Nine. Nine. So you're right, only one left, 6 into 1 is 6, bang on, girls are nailing and acing it, A for aced it, you guys have actually aced it, A is indeed right answer, so like you have mentioned, let me show you the answer once again, you have already told me, told me that Na2CO3.10H2O is the formula for the washing soda and once you heat, 9 are gone, 1 is left, 6 into 1 is 6. So A becomes the right answer. Bang on, bang on. Let's quickly see the scoreboard. Eight. Ashmita, very nice. Keep it up. Megha, very nice. It's the right answer, but hashtag speed with accuracy. Krishnangi, so is with you. Speed with accuracy. Hashtag be quick. All right, so let's move on to the third question of the day.
which of the following is present as an active ingredient in bleaching powder for bleaching action? Okay, CaOCl2, CaOCl, and now observe the brackets, hold two. CaO2Cl, CaOCl, it's like a word play, huh? Let's see. Okay, so I can see in the chat, we have lots of B's coming in. We have uh, Ovai saying B, Prashant Kumar saying B, uh, Tukaram Shinde saying B, Prashant is saying B, uh, Ryan Singh is saying B, Vivek Dube is also saying B, uh, Nalini is saying B and uh, Megha and Ashmita has also said B, only Krishnangi has said a as the answer. So uh, I know this is confusing, right? Calcium oxychloride and calcium hypochlorite. There is a difference. So when we are talking about CaOCl2, this is a patent case that you read in redox reactions, right? Where we have this chlorine which is attached to oxygen and uh, possesses a minus one and a plus one making all the difference. Uh, but here when we are talking about bleaching action, it is actually shown by sodium hypochlorite which is Na uh, when we are talking about sodium, it is Na when we are talking about calcium here since all of them are calcium, calcium hypochlorite so calcium, oxygen, Cl, whole 2 think of it like this, calcium 2 plus and OCl minus cross multiply you get Ca, OCl whole twice and when I'm talking about HOCl, you know it is hypochlorous acid. Huh? So here B is the right answer like Megha and Ashmita has said, not just CaOCl2, the active ingredient indeed is option B. So here is a slide thing, a bracket makes all the, dif all the difference here. If OCl was all together with just the Cl below which we had two, that is not an active ingredient of uh, bleaching action okay so let's have the answer once again you can see the reaction right in front of you this is the bleaching powder that we are talking about right calcium hypochlorite well so many of our friends in the audience was also right so let's quickly see the scoreboard and let me tell you one secret when it is about rapid fire things changes absolutely absolutely drastically till the very end so maintain your calm maintain your composure maintain your mindfulness and do not let pressure take over you at all that's what we learn from here with that let's have the next question on the screen the main oxides formed on combustion of li na and k classic case simple case in the excess affair okay Options are right in front of you. Different kinds of oxides are there that are shown to you. Think of it, where do you get oxide? Where do you get a peroxide? Where do you get a superoxide? And the answer would be right in front of you. Okay, so I can see audience split in A and C. Uday is saying C. Arthur Morgan is saying A. Mukta is saying uh, C, Sakib is saying A, Nalini is saying C, so it's like an A, C, A, C happening, but all three of you have mentioned just the C. So, indeed, the answer C that you've mentioned is absolutely correct. For lithium, you get oxide, for sodium, you get peroxide but for potassium you get a superoxide this is the classic case of the group one of the periodic table so ladies you're nailing it acing it fantabulous let's have the scoreboard ashmita well done huh superb megha krishnangi do not lose hope is the moral of the story because you know that anything can happen in a rapid fire. So let's have the next question.
Okay, the metal that gives hydrogen gas upon treatment with both acids as well as bases. A class 8th question, so this should be a rapid fire. Quickly, zinc, mercury, iron or magnesium. And here, what is also being tested are your typing skills. So typing skills has to be good as well. I know you might know the answers, but typing might make a difference. So what is our audience saying? huh? Nalini, for this question, are you saying C? No, right? Cannot be. X, Y, Z is saying magnesium. Yeah, this is class 8th question. Which amphoteric oxide is? Right? Us mein hi hum pad lete hai. So, of course, I know that zinc is something which should be bombarded in your head immediately. So, of course, A is the right answer. And uh, we'll also see the reactions in a presence of base and acid. So, let me show you the answer slide straight away. You can see zinc with sodium hydroxide would give you Na2ZnO2, sodium zincate. And zinc with HCl gives you zinc chloride, ZnCl2. And in both the cases, the gas which is evolved is the gas that produces pop sound with a matchstick, you know, hydrogen. So hydrogen is being produced. This is the way I have also narrated is like an eight standard explanation that I've given. Zinc here, you know, is going to produce hydrogen with acid as well as base. Not D, huh? So anybody who is saying D, that's not going to be correct. So remember, take it as an opportunity to learn. Go with some learning experience okay with that said wow kashiv aaye hain keh rahe hain hi ma'am today is my birthday hame kaise pata bhai birthday hai nahi hai aise footage le lo koi no birthday wish till you prove that it's your birthday with that let's move on to the next question Okay, when zeolite, which is hydrated sodium aluminium silicate, is treated with hard water, the sodium ions are exchanged with, is it proton H plus ions, calcium 2 plus ions, sulfate 2 minus ions or hydroxide OH minus ions? Be a rebel, huh? You guys are totally a rebel for sure. Calcium 2 plus. That's crazy. I'm going crazy right now. Uh, this is absolutely, absolutely right. Of course, when we're talking about zeolite, an ion the possible henny. You know that when we're talking about zeolites, an ion exchange doesn't happen. What where an ion exchange happens is the uh, the resin method, not here. So C or D to hoi nahi sakte to. So 50-50 was already done. Who cares about H plus yaar? Chota sa to masoom sa to humara proton hai ye. Isko who cares about that? Who wants to exchange that? So it's of course calcium 2 plus like you know. Agar magnesium likha hota, Mg2 plus likha hota, to bhi wo answer ho sakta tha aapka, right? Because these are the ones which are responsible for the hardness of water. Isi ke saath ek aur baat mein bata dun. Ye uh, COVID ke time par of course there was uh, the time of delta, not the third wave. But the second wave where uh, we had so many Delta cases happening and oxygen was becoming one of the biggest issues of the country. Us time per concentrators sabse zada famous huye the, hana? Oxygen concentrators. Baud mehenge bhi bikre the. Or uh, that became a need, right? Oxygen cylinder nahi the, to oxygen concentrator log kharid rahe the. That also has zeolite. So how it works is by the mechanism of zeolite. Okay, so guys, with this, I'm sure you guys are having a good time. Let's have a scoreboard once again in front of us. So it's 21, 20 and 10. Megha and Ashmita are very close and Krishnangi is now giving a very tough competition. So let's see what happens with the next one. Let's see. Which one of the following is an important ingredient of Portland cement? A factual question. You know it or you do not know it. Dicalcium silicate, tricalcium aluminate, monocalcium silicate or is it both A and B? Okay, dicalcium silicate. If you say it, the answer is wrong. 
अगर आप बी सिर्फ ट्राई कैल्शियम एलुमिनेट भी कहते तो भी गलत होता बिकॉज ए एंड बी ऑफ कोर्स आर योर आंसर्स यू लेडीज आर किलिंग इट अमेजिंग डी इज एब्सल्यूटली राइट सो आई थिंक today session is actually a rapid fire because what is being tested your accuracy is already uh, flying with the beautiful colors but yes speed is what is actually being monitored which is which was actually the hardcore essence of rapid fire so you guys are maintaining the essence of this rapid fire so i thank you for that you guys are absolutely right let me show it to you once again let's have the answer slide you can of course check here important ingredients of portland cement in front of you okay so uh, d was the answer i think everybody in the audience was also superb classic classic everybody said d that's nice huh? your factual knowledge is also good that means it's good okay uh, let's have the scoreboard let's see superb ha huh? we have a tie coming in and uh, krishnangi you i know that anything can happen i seriously trust in the rapid fire tuesday so maza aa jayega agar ab se score thode se swap hone shuru ho jaye right so give your best and uh, skills uh, typing skills okay that to matters with that let's have the next question which of the following represents a pair of covalent hydrides okay cesium hydride aluminum hydride which is the option a potassium sodium hydrides h2s hf nh nh3 look at the pair okay do not look it as a single look it at as a pair dono ko dekhiye Okay, all three of you have given option C as your answer. Okay, let's see who is also giving. Uh, what is uh, audience giving? Only A has been given by Venkatesh Viralu. Cute, wow, yeah, very cute name. A is what uh, he said. Otherwise, everybody has said C. Unequivocally, C has been given the right answer. So please see, indeed, the right answer to this question is. option c superb yaar you guys are fantabulous let's see the answers slide once again you can observe here we have h2s of course and the others had metals wherever you have metals like sodium was there magnesium was there hydrogen uh, potassium was there it cannot form at all the covalent hydride that we were talking about it will be of course ionic and the other name of ionic hydrides are saline hydride so another name is saline hydride sometimes examiner can uh, trick you with the names and like shakespeare once said what's in a name a lot of things are in a name the marks are in the name so make sure the synonymous names for every kind of hydride like for example covalent hydride we can also mention it as a molecular hydride so you should know the synonymous names also well you guys already knew it so c was indeed right superb with this let's move to the next question the ionization of hydrogen atom would give rise to hydride ion hydronium ion proton hydroxyl ion hydrogen atom okay Okay I have a uh, vouchings coming for you guys from here shout out coming for you guys from here So uh your friend I think Divya Agarwal is wishing Megha and Ashmita all the best We have Ming Minguki saying yo go Ashmita and we have uh, Of course uh, Ravi is saying I think Megha will win. We have your supporters out here wishing you all the very best here. Superb and uh, let's now see the answer. Okay. So B hydronium ion has been given by Krishnangi and Megha. Only Ashmita is saying C. Kyun bhai Ashmita? 
Ma'am, ionization is the removal of one electron from the valence shell. Bilkul sahi. Megha, you're absolutely right. Uh, obviously, why did he say that he was talking about the water? Yes, there was. Nobody said there is water, right? So there cannot be H3O+. I know the confusion can only be in the hydronium or proton. And it is of course easy H. We are taking one electron. If we are removing just one electron, which is what is ionization, okay, it would give you of course H+. So, Proton was indeed right, C was indeed right, rock and roll. That's when I get very ecstatic <laughs> when there is a split like that. So, I think I, everything is cool for the... Uh, the screen is cool? Okay. Cool. Okay. Option C, which is Proton, is indeed absolutely right. And with that, Ashmita is all smiling out there. And uh, Megha and Krishnangi are a little bit scared huh? Is it? No, should be a no. That's the spirit. Not really, it's ma'am. just the ninth question, guys. And anything can happen in a rapid fire Tuesday. So let's have the scoreboard very quickly in front of us. Superb. Ashmita now has brought in some margin here. And with a minus one, we can see the scoreboard now changing. Let's also see the answer once again so that everybody of you remembers and never forget it. H hai bhai, ek electron nikaloge, H plus proton hi to milega. Kaha se pani dalkar H2O plus banario se. We do not say aqueous solution, of course. Take Okay, so now, brilliant Ashmita, your friends are in the chat are saying. Okay, so, take a deep breath. Now let's have. The next question on the screen. Which of the following carbonates of alkali metals have the highest thermal stability? Okay, thermal stability is asked. Lithium carbonate, sodium carbonate, potassium carbonate, rubidium carbonate, what do you think? Alright, you, you guys are done. I am like, I just look at the chat. Halka sa niche dekhti, upar dekhti. You guys have bombarded me with the answer. That's brilliant. And that too, D, which is rubidium carbonate. Kya laga rahe ho aap? Which, which rule are you applying here? Ma'am, in this, as we go down the group, the uh, thermal stability of the carbonate ions increases. And how do you know so? What's the logic? Ma'am, the big uh, ions tend to bind better with the big uh, cations. Knock, knock. Which rule? You said the absolutely right statement. But where is that statement coming from? Come on. For John's rule? Absolutely. So that's what you have to apply. Of course, thermal stability that when we are talking about, what do we mean? Two possibilities here carbonates. One can be a covalent carbonate, one can be an ionic carbonate. Now, which amongst ionic and covalent is going to be stable? The one which is ionic, right? Pani jab tak nahi dal rahe na, ionic pani mein dal kar weak hai, but jab tak hum unko solid state mein study kar rahe hai, they have electrostatic forces of attraction, which is the strongest ones. So, smaller the cation, larger the anion, more will be the covalent character. But here we have the anion same. So let's just look at the size of the cation. Smaller the cation, that means lithium is the smallest one. So of course it, have, it will have the maximum covalent character, right? So the ionic will be maximum in Lina, Cabrese, Ferraro, however you remember your group one. So rubidium here is going to be the one with the highest size, largest size. That's why indeed what you ladies have said is absolutely right. D indeed is the right answer. Pajan's rule, science wala Junaid Saifi was saying loudly with the capitals Pajan's rule. Bilkul sahi. Thik hai? Uh, Toh bilkul sahi answer hai yaar. Kya baat hai? 
So let's have the scoreboard very quickly in front of us. Okay, that's nice. Krishnangi 17, Mega 31, Ashmita 32. That's amazing. Let's see what happens with the next question now. Let's have the next one. How many types of products are formed when LiNO3 and NaNO3, sodium nitrate and lithium nitrate are heated and you can see the temperatures are very high, 500 degrees Celsius. How many types of, okay, different types. You have to just club them together if they are having the similar kind of products. Three, four, six or eight. Okay, again, unequivocally, you guys have given B as your answer. Four. Huh. Kaise yaar? Ma'am, on heating lithium nitrate, we get lithium oxide plus uh, NO2 plus oxygen. And on heating NaNO3, we get uh, sodium nitrate and oxygen. Sodium nitrate. Sorry, nitride. Yes. So that's absolutely brilliant. Uh, you have given the answer. So no requirement of an Ithika ma'am here. Indeed, what you guys have bombarded, B for bombardment, and there is absolute bombardment happening here. B, which is four, is indeed right. Uh, Mega has already given the answer. Let me still give you once again in case you missed let's have the answer on our screens you can see that the different kind of products are li2o nano2 so lithium oxide sodium nitride nitrogen dioxide you know two and oxygen these are the four different types of products that we have so brilliant you guys have done a fantabulous job here. Let's have the scoreboards very quick. Superb. So game is about now. Speed, speed and speed. Plus it's always a learning experience. Never lose hope is the moral of the story. Um, you guys, I'm sure, uh, quickly, give, quickly, I will take one of your minutes and ask you, which is your favorite amongst the three subjects? Uh, not the three subjects of the NEET examination, but out of physical, chemistry, inorganic and organic, I would like to know which is your favorite. Or all three. Physical. Krishnangi. Physical, ma'am. Okay. Mega? I'm physical. It involves okay. less of a uh, memorization part and more of fun part like numericals and all. Well, uh, inorganic is uh, also very applicable. So yeah, but I understand where it is coming from, but it always has a logic. Only uh, out of 45, if I say, there would be hardly two or three which requires cramming stuff. Otherwise, it's about logic, fair logic. Ashmita, how about you? Ma'am, organic. Oh, oh, so organic. <laughs> Rarely people say that. Good to know that. None of you saying inorganic. That's brilliant. Well, I do not know. There's some uh, phobia also associated with inorganic and that's what I would like everybody to take off. Let it be on the back seat. Never look in the front. Make sure inorganic. You do not get scared of the exceptions. Rather make it your exceptionally loyal companions. With that said, let's have the next question. Which of the following is the strongest base? Calcium hydroxide, strontium hydroxide, barium hydroxide or magnesium hydroxide? Strongest base should be easily able to give OH minus. Ma'am, uh, strongest base Wow, Rakshit Pandey ka yaha pe uh, pahiliyaan chal rahi hai. Rakshit Pandey keh rahe hai, aisa koon sa hydrate hota hai, jo water nahi nikalta hai. Sahi hai, ye, ye badiya hai, ye, this, this is what 
आई थिंक वी शुड स्टार्ट नाउ डूइंग हाँ पहेलियाँ पहेली सुझाओ ओके कूल नाउ वी हैव द आंसर्स राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ आस विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द स्ट्रॉगेस्ट बेस ऑल थ्री इफ यू आर सेंग बेरियम हाइड्रोक्साइड बाय सो काहे को कृष्णांगी बेसिसिटी इंक्रीजेस बिकॉज़ बेसिसिटी इंक्रीजेस गोइंग डाउन द ग्रुप ओके इफ यू से सो आई वुड एग्री with such a lioness power you have said so so of course i can't say it's a wrong answer it has to be correct as we go down the group like you said the basic strength should increase but kyon kyon bhala kyunki aaram se hydroxide toot jayega the overlap is not that strong or we can say because of the greater size of the barium we can also apply here the fajans rule it is more ionic so would give oh minus very easily right so indeed c is absolutely right let's see the answer once again just to reinforce the concept you have the order also right in front of you now which is going to be least basic beryllium hydroxide okay so c was indeed the right answer which most of you were absolutely right with okay ujwal roy is saying c bhakti is saying c mukta also said c we have uh, ravi also who said c one everybody not a single wrong answer wonderful I think we have uh, chosen very easy chapters this time. Ah, huh? hydrogen and S block seems to be the forte of everybody. That's amazing. With that, let's have the next question on your screens now. The correct order of mobilities of the alkali metal ions in aqueous solution is. Okay, so you have all these group one. ions lithium plus sodium plus k plus rubidium plus mind you aqueous solution it is point to be noted my lord aqueous solution okay so only Fahima Begum is saying B. Otherwise, I can see all A's are being aced up at me. Superb, superb, superb. Anshul, Fahima, uh, Muskan. We have uh, Rutuja, Ari. Everybody of you is saying A. So is our participants here. Ashmita, Megha, Krishnangi. All three of you have also spoken A. Of course I don't think so I need to explain this also your answer explains it such quick answer has already explained a has to be right because when it is a for aqueous medium you know the smallest cation will be hydrated the most to lag raha tha ki chhota ion hai so it would be able to move fast but yes it turned out that it was all very heavy because of the hydration that has happened so indeed the right answer to this question is option a and uh, the answer you already know let me show it to you once again let's see the answer slide once again mobility of course would be inversely proportional to hydration jitna zyada hydration hoga utna kam mobility hoga utna dheere itna dheeme bhagega और हाइड्रेशन किस पे डिपेंड करती है द साइज ऑफ द गैशियस आयन एंड हेंस रुबीडियम प्लस इन द एक्वेस फेज विल बी हैविंग द हाईएस्ट मोबिलिटी एज कंपेयर टू लिथियम प्लस बिकॉज लिथियम प्लस हैज बिकम वेरी हैवी बिकॉज ऑफ हाइड्रेशन सो लेट्स हैव द स्कोर बोर्ड्स वेरी क्विकली यू गाइस आर एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली राइट हियर इन द चैट आल्सो यू गाइस आर एसिंग इट डू मेक श्योर यू कैन also keeping a monitor of your scores like we are keeping a monitor of their scores out here krishnangi is on 24 and a tough competition happening between megha and ashmita here with 42 and 41 so let's see what is our audience saying ha huh? who is going to win that's going to be interesting to watch competition is not uh, i do not agree that it is a bad thing it is very good a thing till the time it is constructive so constructive competition is what i always love because that gives me a flow that gives you a kick right 
and the kicks are always important so i'm sure you guys are also having a kick right here with that let's have the next question question number 14 on your screens which of the following alkaline earth metals will not form hydride on reaction with h2 beryllium calcium strontium barium will not form hydride game has already become the game of uh, speed with that let me tell you uh venkateshwaralu is saying megha is going to win okay and uh, satya nandi singh ashmita will win anushka is saying um, again uh, megha is going to win is it okay so i can see many of your friends and supporters all vouching for you guys So I am sure the winner is all three of you because you're learning something you're experiencing the game and having a great time and of course the time is going to be greater only because A has actually given you positive marks here so A is indeed the right answer beryllium is the one that will not form hydride right uh, so of course calcium hydride everybody knows strontium hydride barium hydride you already know beryllium hydride is not something which is a hydride which is formed on reaction with h2 so let's see the answer once again okay metal plus hydrogen gives you metal hydride these metals has to be either magnesium calcium strontium barium but not beryllium the group 2 is what we were talking about okay so ready for the next one are you ando come what may we are set for it that's a great attitude take deep breath calm down let's have the question question number 15 the last question supposedly for the day on heating which of the following releases carbon dioxide most easily sodium carbonate magnesium carbonate calcium carbonate potassium carbonate this is going to be interesting let's see let's see what is our audience saying out here for this 15th question what's the answer coming up shrey is saying b rutuja is saying a ari is saying b rutuja is saying b अखिलेश बी मेखला बी अरे रक्षित या कम इन द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट भाई प्रेजेंट मोमेंट स्टे इन द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट दैट्स द फंडा एंड द मंत्र ऑफ लाइफ रवि इज ऑल्सो सेइंग ओके रवि इज ऑल चियरिंग आउट फॉर नाउ गो अश्मिता रवि इज सेइंग सुपर्ब okay bbb kalpana is only saying c magnesium carbonate kahe ko kya laga rahe ho क्या लॉजिक है इन ग्रुप टू तो हमारे पास है मैग्नीशियम कैल्शियम ए और डी आपने रूल आउट कर दिया आउट ऑफ बी एंड सी वाई डिड यू चूज मैग्नीशियम बिकॉज मैग्नीशियम इज लेस थर्मली स्टेबल एन कैल्शियम is less thermally stable like the compound ge car santro bapre so yes we have calcium jo ki of course just jo cation hai size bada hai ca2 plus ki main baat karu agar to calcium 2 plus kyunki carbonate to sab mein same hai calcium 2 plus kafi bada hai so on heating which of the following releases carbon dioxide most readily apply fajans rule here also so you can see fajans is going to help you so much in questions like thermal stability like questions like uh, which will have the highest hydration also agar aap pani mein daloge to kaun sabse jaldi tootega kaun help karta hai fajans so theek uh, hai going down the group like you said the basic strength or the carbonate ka strength with the calcium or with the one with the highest size increases but the logic is yet again for jans rule hence b is indeed right because you know that 
मैग्नीशियम कार्बोनेट मैग्नीशियम एक तो टू प्लस है देखो सोडियम प्लस के प्लस हो नहीं सकता क्योंकि साइज ऑफ द केटायन मैटर्स इन मैग्नीशियम टू प्लस एंड कैल्शियम टू प्लस विल हैव रिलेटिवली स्मॉलर एज कंपेयर टू द काउंटर पार्ट सेम पीरियड वाले एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द ग्रुप वन सो वहां पे ए और डी हमने रूल आउट कर दिया ना आउट ऑफ मैग्नीशियम एंड कैल्शियम कैल्शियम ऑफ कोर्स इज लार्जर हेंस मोर आई एन ए कैरेक्टर मैग्नीशियम कार्बोनेट हेंस इज गोड बी मोर कोवलेंट रिलेटिवली हेंस विल गिव यू कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड मोर रेडिली आई कैन सी अश्मिता स्माइलिंग आउट हियर लेट सी द स्कोर बोर्ड वेरी क्विकली okay so indeed we have a clear cut winner megha with 50 but ashmita giving a great tough competition till end we didn't know who is going to win so ashmita on a 46 krishnangi who was always you know 99% of times right but hashtag #speed so accuracy is uh, brilliant guys i really loved your accuracy Uh, i i love the way you played i think for chemistry honestly 50 is the score i'm seeing for the first time honestly so i'm very happy mega you have made me see this half century out here so i thank you but yes it was a great fight out here i loved it thoroughly i hope you also did mega you are going to get some uh, nice prizes also that's a perk but yes one prize that all three of you have received is good learning experience khud hi bol rahi hu main but i hope this is actually your uh, words also i hope so right let's have a uh, quick chats also right here venkateshwaru is saying vajan for justice justice kar rahe hain bhai koi andolan chal raha lag raha hai aryan is saying megha is unstoppable superb hashtag megha is unstoppable is the hashtag running out here superb So congratulations reaching you out here so I am very happy I wish you all the best for the your future endeavors for whatever you do make sure you fall in love with learning take a good care of yourself bye bye